when you are assembling this, as you can see, it sort of has curves in there, like a real car. Oh. Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Daiso Moving 3D Puzzle Red Car. And this is in the vehicle series and is the second product in the series. So let's go ahead and check this out. Alright everybody, so here is the red car. Now this is a 3D puzzle, so I am more familiar with Daiso's petite block line, uh, but I do have a couple of 3D puzzles. Now the 3D puzzles are actually pretty fun to put together. You pretty much just have a bunch of flat pieces of card and you put them together uh, to make a vehicle like this. And here's the back of the box. And right here it says, pullback type car that moves when you slide it back and release. So it also has a pullback action here. And the assemble type is a car. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it looks like that is everything in the package. All right. So here is all of our items here. Let's go ahead and uh, open up this bag. All right, so inside of the package, we get four of these loose wheels here. You also get this stainless steel rod, and as well as, of course, our pullback motor. We get our instructions. It's a little bit tricky. Let's see, is it only one page or... Oh, no. Nope. There we go. And here's all of our instructions here. And we of course get our pieces, which as you can see the uh, pieces are in little carts here and all you do is you pretty much just pop them out really easily just like that. And usually I think there is a card, like a little piece to pop out all of the pieces, but it looks like I didn't get one. Now in some other of the 3D puzzles, you get sort of like a little arrow looking thing that is used to help you pop out the pieces, but I don't think I got one uh, in this 3D puzzle. So that is okay because we can just pop them out manually with our hands. So let's go ahead and start building.
Alright everybody, so here is the red car, and I gotta say that this was actually pretty dang hard to assemble, for me at least. As you can see in here, um, I had a camera right in front of me, which it was a little bit hard to push in the tabs. Um, so part of that is my fault, and also it didn't come with the little tool to push out all the excess pieces, so I just had to use this knife here. Uh, now the finished model is actually pretty okay, it looks a little bit funny because as you can see here, yeah, no, the wheels don't go out too far, so it looks a little bit funny, almost from far away, it just looks like it's like a floating uh, body of a car, uh, but it does actually have a pullback motion, as you can see here, and so that is pretty nice, um, although one thing that I couldn't make out was the model of this car, now as you can see the um, headlights here, I think they just took some sort of stock image or just a uh, stock photo of a headlight here, or just made their own homemade sort of looking headlights which i mean it looks okay um but i can't really make out what it is i think they just made it look like a generic headlight and also one thing that was interesting as well is that when you are assembling this as you can see it sort of has curves in there like a real car and of course since these are flat pieces you had to kind of just squish them together to go along with the lines and i actually ended up with uh some of the areas being molded into the actual finished piece here as you can see this front hood piece sort of moves around in this arch here whereas when you put in these little pieces here it automatically moves up uh, for you which is actually pretty interesting that I saw them do and going around the details of this car as you can see they did the modeling to try to show that it looks 3d we of course have the front of the car here and it looks a little bit wonky because like with a lot of their 3D puzzles it's usually just in layers and then they print it out and then you can pop them out um, but as you can see there uh, there's actually like a double layer of headlight there which looks a little bit funny but just from looking at it down like that it looks okay and here's the other side of the car now I'm not sure why they had this little section here because there's no wind up area but I guess they just <laughs> had that there and here is the top of the car we also have a spoiler on the back which is pretty nice and the back of the car um now the tail lights we couldn't really make out what sort of model of car this looks like but it sort of just looks like a knockoff gtr or ferrari enzo uh tail lights as you can see there those uh two little round tail lights on the side and we of course have our exhaust here and just looking at it down from the middle there again looks pretty funny because the wheels don't go out far enough and same thing on the other side and of course the inside is sort of hollow and one thing that i noticed as well is that definitely around here if they added sort of like a support area this would not be a problem but it is sort of flimsy around here as you can see pretty squishy but other than that everywhere else is pretty solid and just building this normally, um, I think any six-year-old wouldn't have any problem with this. Um, it was just for me, I had a camera in front. And also, they didn't include the little tool, which is interesting. Uh, but one thing that did help me was that this little stainless steel rod here, uh, for the most part, I was trying to cut the pieces out. But on some of them, I incidentally missed and scraped off a layer of it. But the good thing was that um, these are double-layered pieces, so I was just able to split it around. So yeah, definitely try to use some something like this, uh, just sort of this sort of arrow looking thing to pop out all the different pieces here, um, especially like where these pegs go in, and it'll be a lot better. Uh, but overall, this was actually pretty nice, uh, besides the fact that it looks pretty funny with, uh, you know, the wheels here, and as well as, I'm pretty sure this is not really based off of any specific model. Alright everybody, so that was the Daiso Moving 3D Puzzle Red Car, and I gotta say that this was actually, um, you know, if you just build this normally, this would actually be pretty easy, and I, this time I actually do agree with the uh, age recommendation. I think a six-year-old could uh, do this actually pretty well. Um, uh, the only thing, though, was that it didn't really include anything to pop out all the little, like, uh, cut out pieces and stuff like that, uh, but if you just have a sharp object or anything like that, then it'll pop out just fine. And also, one thing I forgot to mention as well, even though that this thing is a pullback car, this thing can also be driven around just like this regularly, and also, I guess, also could be moved back reverse, although it's a little bit sticky like that there. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like, and also, if you want to see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!